Hello everyone, I'm Corlez. And I'm Naomi. And we're from Fighting Through, Through Our Pain, Pain TV. Joining us now is Dr. Thomas, Thomas Harrington. Harrington. Hi everybody. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about several things. Um, today we're going to talk about how some complications due to sick cell with strokes and uh, different organs um, with the eyes. Anything Dr. Harrington can talk about with us today. <laughs> So we also know about sickle cell patients suffering with um, eye um, disorders with the eyes when it's bleeding behind the retina. Yeah, yeah. the eyes. The eye is part of the nervous system. So anything that can affect the eye, we treat just like you know, like it's a stroke. Mm -hmm. But the bleeding, the, the types of trauma that you get to the retina and the new vessel formation that leads to these bleeds is different than a stroke. And so what we do for that is like we do for anyone with like diabetes or someone who has these conditions that affect mm -hmm. small vessels a lot, uh, they need frequent eye exams. And you get eyes, your eyes examined, you look for any sign of early damage. Sometimes if you see an early uh, new vessel forming, which is harmful, but a natural phenomenon, then you can actually do laser treatment to try to zap those new vessels and prevent them from becoming bleeds. You can have early early uh, retinal detachments and things like that from, from vascular injury and you can, if you catch it early enough, you can actually, again, with laser treatment, you can, you can sort of seal off that detachment so it doesn't completely collapse and you can maintain vision. But eye problems are, are a major problem. And is it um, the eye problems are more major for sickle cell patients who have SS or SC? No, I'm, yeah, glad you asked that. That's very important. SC patients tend to, we'll say SS is full blown. We use the term full blown. I think anyone's got sickle cell has full blown sickle cell. Exactly. But uh, SC patients often are not as sick as often. They tend to have higher hemoglobins, but they actually have higher rates of eye problems. And so uh, this. Uh, retinopathy, the retina is the back of the eye where you sense all your vision. Retinopathy means disease of the back of the eye. Uh, that's more common in, in people who have SC disease than people who have SS. But it's common in both. It's more common in SC and it's very important that SC patients get, it's important that all of them get checked, but SC patients be really, even if they're feeling good, not having problems, like, please go see an eye doctor. Make mm -hmm. sure you see Trust this. And we yeah, try so to get he them. sent me to one. Yeah. <laughs> Last year. No, I actually just reason. <laughs> yeah. For me. Yeah. And it's, it's hard. It's like one of those things where if you're not feeling symptoms of it, man, I don't want to see an eye hospital. I know. So it's, oh, my so God. So people, people will often not, not, they'll miss those appointments. And an echocardiogram, they can kind of imagine heart test is kind of quick, you go in and get the test, mm -hmm. but going to the eye hospital, going to an eye doctor, oh my hours gosh. and hours of treatment yes. and an evaluation. I didn't even know they had an he eye to emergency one room until last year. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, and it's, so I wish it was as fast and simple, but uh, but it's not, and it's also something that is silent until it's serious. Exactly. So mm -hmm. if you don't, if you don't get your eyes examined on a regular basis, at least annually or every dare I say, every two years, but if you try to get it done annually, then you hopefully can catch these things, but the key is also if you notice anything like sudden loss of vision, you quickly get to an eye hospital, get get to the ER, uh, the eye hospital here, Baskin Palmer has, a, has an emergency room which can see you fast, and it's very important. Uh, sometimes people wait until, until they've lost so much vision or bled so much in their eye that, that it takes a long time to clear up, if it's going to clear up at all. And just recently, she told me um, to pay attention to uh, flashes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because yeah. I told her I was seeing some flashes. So. Yeah, no, it's, it's important. Mm -hmm. The things that you just, you, you think, ah, that's nothing, you know. I thought, I thought my eye was just blurry. I didn't even know that what it was doing last year was actually bleeding behind that retina. Yeah. No. I just got blurry out. We just put some eye drops in there. It'll be okay. And yeah, so I came. I had an appointment the, the next eye. day with him. Yeah. <laughs> was that like, was, was like, why would, you tell, why would you not tell me? I was like, I didn't know. Yeah. And it's it's our job to sort of make sure people know how serious this is and and to get attention for it. But we're not always uh, on top of things like we should be. But uh, 
those problems that seem kind of trivial, like oh, flashing and things like that, is mm -hmm. nothing. But if you get a little haziness there and then wake up in the morning, it's a little more hazy. That's that could be something much more serious. And what if like your eyes is triggering? <laughs> What's that? I mean, like if the nerve is the nerve is like jumping? Yes. Oh. Uh, like nothing. Then so well, this, <laughs> <laughs> that's nothing. No, it's, it's, it probably means you need more sleep. Uh, I probably should. No, that's true. Okay. Yeah. I mean, okay. there's different kinds of stress, but I don't want to say it's trivial, but it's not like the same thing. The back of the eye, uh -huh. the eye is actually a nerve. The back of the eye is an, a light sensing nerve, and it has a lot of blood vessels, and all the blood vessels, you know, have sickle cells percolating through there. So if you get blockage of those blood vessels, then you injure the nerve. and and the nerve is what allows you to turn this stuff into a, an image to your brain. So yeah. if, they, if you damage that nerve, you can't transmit this into a, an image. Isn't that know? amazing? Yeah. yeah, the eyes are yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay, well, for this part, we just want to say, say thank you to Dr. Harrington for letting us hear about more about strokes and for um, the eye retina. And remember, we continue to want to hear your story so reach out to us we'll be in contact to you and remember to continue to fight through your pain thank you